It's game week five in the High Five Futsal League, and this is our toughest challenge of the season. Our Play Atlas FC girls are up against Dragon FC, and we're missing half our squad. There's plenty of skills and goals. There's some great saves from both keepers, controversial decisions, rough tackles, and one moment that changed everything. Again, we'll kick off. Dragon FC are a top three side this season with players on the national football team before and a squad full of college varsity graduates. Our Payatas FC girls are most important, raised in Payatas, one of the poorest communities in the Philippines, ready to show their grit, that fight, and they'll have to because we're missing so many this week. A couple of injuries, it's exam week at school, so we only had six outfield players for this game. So, what a great challenge this was as they'll break forward down the line. In on goal, Joanna comes out, very good line from her, good positioning. It's something we'll see a few times throughout this game. It's some great opportunities for Dragon FC. They're going to get another one here. And a very good positioning, it's perfect positioning from Joanna to be out there with the futsal block. Futsal goalkeeping is very different to um, football goalkeeping. And Dragon FC's goalkeeper will show that herself. Um, she did have one hand on the ball uh, when Agot came in for that second opportunity. But yeah, futsal goalkeeping is very different and the Dragon FC goalkeeper there. Oh no, that's a great strong header from them. Hazel's in on goal. Very good finish from her. This is Hazel Lustan, the pivot for Dragon FC. Uh, in my opinion, the star player, the one to really look out for. She finishes it off this time and Dragon FC will take a lead. Yeah, Dragon FC's goalkeeper, as I was saying, she's the uh, former national team play uh, player. She's wanting to get back onto the squad, I'm sure, for the upcoming games and especially the Futsal World Cup. As Joanna comes out, good sweeper keeper, no nonsense defending. Have it. Yeah, no nonsense defending from Joanna. She gets rid of the ball, uh, but a push in the back from, from Dragon will have the free kick. Werner hits it to the second post. It was a decent free kick, but our player's not quite in the right position. Kim, good reverse pass to Agot. Very good loop ball. Hendra is at the second post there, but the goalkeeper intercepts. Good play from everyone. Kim pokes the ball forward. Chat, nice play. She tries to find Agot on the rebound, takes it early shot. Uh, not going to trouble the goalkeeper. Cha, uh, grade 10 student. She'll be looking for a senior high school uh, scholarship. Next school year is Agot. Hits it towards the, the second post. He's shot again on the rebound. And double nutmeg. Fireflies have to equalize with a double nutmeg. Double kill. Uh, very opportunistic. Well played from them. Bernard, good skill from her. Comes inside, drives forward. Well done from her. Agot takes over. Beats her player. And a good save from the goalkeeper. Lays it back. Bernard comes in. Tries to get that. I'm not sure why. Huh? The referee called a free kick down, but they've given something. Really not sure about that one. As I got tries to find Chan in the second post, comes inside. Hendra huh? covers the ball. Her legs are taken from under her. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Was that a penalty? Because uh, the goalkeeper didn't touch the ball, or would that have been soft? Nice forward throw from uh, Joanna. Good control from Agot. Beats her player again, and good position from the goalkeeper. She blocks that. Um, she was okay, she recovered straight afterwards. But poor pass from Kim there. Here's Hazel, in on goal, they've got a 3v2. Burner intercepts the pass. Took too long on the ball. They pass it around the keeper. Ooh, that should have been a goal. Kim's got it on the goal line clearance. Scramble, in on goal. Hendra tries to block that. Kim on the line, gets rid of the ball, finally. Excellent chance for Dragon FC there. Ball's gone out of play. It's a kick in for Payatas. We've taken it very quickly. I've got beats a player. We've got Hendra at the second post. Can't quite see it. And the live stream as well. It was a bit laggy on that one. But Payatas FC retake the, the lead. Actually, for the, for the first time in the game. So, uh, excellent from, from our girls. It's Hazel Lustan again. Good position from Joanna. She's uh, stopped her quite a few times already. So it's a Way to go, Joanna! Great battle between uh, those two uh, in this match. And that happened throughout the match. Throughout the game. I got looking for something here. A couple of ball taps. Step over. And she just find Hendra. Who? Oh, that's a very strong tackle. I don't know. There's, there's a bit of an elbow from, from the other side. Hendra had to come up for a while. She's taken uh, a 
heavy hit for the draw on that one. Kim, back to Berna. Good pass from her across the chart. She's got, I got her the second post in on goal. She's beating the goalkeeper, but good recovery defending from her. She's gonna get across. Nice, excellent save. Really good stretch from the goalkeeper to stop that going in with her legs. Futsal goalkeeping is very different to, to 11 aside. She usually legs a lot, lot more, and the positioning is crucial in those ones. And I know Kayla is a, is a national team, a national futsal team player. She'll want to get back in the squad. Poor pass from us. And we gifted them the equalizer. And that's how quickly things can change in futsal. One missed pass, and suddenly nothing. But we almost regained the lead. Uh, very nice kicking routine from us. I got found chat at the second post. She almost flicked that in. Well done from our girls. Chai is going to come in. I got with the interception. Well done from her. She's poked it just wide, under pressure there. The buzzer goes to signal half time. And I was so happy with our girls at this point because, yeah, they were exhausted. They played almost the entire half of futsal and it's so intense. Ah, it's Dragon FC, another great opportunity for them. But they're really fighting, they're giving the best, and this is what you want to see. Agla's going to burst forward now. She's got Char in support, tries to get it across. Hendro throws on the recovery, across, and almost there. Agla's free at the second post. If that pass reaches her, it's its goal. So both teams have good opportunities to start in the second half. Good overlap from them. So I'm in the perfect position to block that shot. Makes it very, very difficult to score from that angle. But Hazel Lestan again, so first down the right side. And again, it's deja vu. It's another save. Deja vu. Yeah, it happens so often in that one. Very good positioning. Uh, not sure about this one, but uh, what I wanted to show here is throughout the match, uh, the referees have to understand the five meter rule uh, and how far back five meters really is. Uh, but they're going to gather the ball. A long throw from them down on the left wing. Then number six does control the ball. Good turn inside, into the middle. That's an excellent finish. Dragon FC retake the lead. You can see how much it means. They get a replay because that's just an excellent finish for them. Uh, to, to retake the lead is 3-2 Dragon FC. Here's what we mean by five meters. It's, uh, it happens throughout the game. It's something that you see is very difficult. We, we keep reminding them, but they have to do better on that. Chad's gonna come inside. Uh, fighting for the ball. Kim, decent tackle, but nothing's gonna come of that. Kim will take that, I got. Pins her defender, makes a spin and beats her. Well played from her, she's gonna stand up the next one. I think Audrey got 12 year olds there at the second post, uh, but I got with the shot. And this is a kick in from Chap. Long ball from them, it's into the goalkeeper's hands and they're gonna throw that forward. Joanna's come out, swept well, but oh, that's a, that's a hit to the stomach. Referee's not called anything. This is difficult. But now the pass is through. Chaz in on goal. And it's a clear hand ball. No, wait, again. It's so obvious. I don't understand this one. It's, it's so clear. And I think we're going to get to see a point of view from me on the sidelines. Oh, come on! This was a crazy sequence of events. You see that? Hit into the stomach of Joanna. Nothing's called. And then on the counter attack, comes out and there's an obvious humble. How could he not see that? Oops, she did it again. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I think Chaz in on goal, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Is that a red card at that point? Because she's blocked the ball with her hands. One moment changes everything in this game. Our girls are now super tired from playing so much. This is a very, very well-worked well goal from Dragon FC. Um, very well uh, done from them. And as the long ball comes in from them, ball does get knocked across and they're gonna steal the win very very soon afterwards so two rapid fire goals for dragon fc that fourth goal especially was an excellent team goal from dragon fc it's something that uh, the goalkeeper she um struggled to play with her feet previously but obviously she's worked on that so much as she comes out and just about i, I don't know she, she kind of clears that ball uh, it's something she's clearly, clearly worked on because I'm sure she'll want to get back into the national team for the upcoming tournaments and especially the Futsal World Cup next year. A decent save from Joanna. Uh, again, launches the ball. Now we have a 2 on one And got drives in. We're free! It's there! Ah! Oh, we're creating the 
chances as well, but we just didn't put it away. Nice attempt at a one-two for, uh, from Hendra and Audrey. Uh, Hendra's gonna press her defender, reaches round, gets the ball first, Audrey, and that good block from the goalkeeper. Uh, this was a bit frustrating in the game as well. The referee's trying to scream, play, play the game, play the game. But you've got a serious injury at that point, uh, right next to the court. So uh, we can't say too much about the referees, but when it's a dangerous situation and there's a serious injury right next to the court, you can't play, it's not safe. Um, so there's, there's got to be some basic rules that need to be learned there. As Dragon FC create another chance, Joanna with another save, uh, racks up another highlight for her uh, and keeps us within the game. Uh, Berna clips her player who goes through, free kick into the wall. I got with her attempted rainbow flick again. Feels that one. Uh, Hazel the stand shot goes wide. Uh, and as the, the game started to wrap up, they've got another two on one opportunity here. Doesn't release the ball. Uh, we don't have much pressure on the ball. You can see our girls are so tired trying to recover back. Long shot comes in. Joanna catches the ball there. Long throw forward, but yeah, the buzzer goes, and that's full time. Congratulations to Dragon FC. Overall, I think they were the better team and they're going to finish, I think, second or third in the standings. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about those moments. Was it an obvious handball? Would it have been a red card because she was the last player and Chow was in on wall? So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and share it with people you think will enjoy it too to show your support for Payaka FC and grassroots futsal in the community. See you next week.